Hello to you the internet. Welcome back to more Spyro the Dragon. Uh, last time we had a lot of trouble getting on that cliff, and uh... It turns out there was another way to do it the whole time. Yeah, Johnny was right. He was like, are you sure there's not another way? And I was like, yes, I'm sure. Are you sure, though? I'm like, yeah, I remember doing it when I played the original game. Okay. If that vibrates, it's gonna be loud in the microphone, just so you know. Ten minutes later. Oh, hey, maybe you can go over on the corner. I'm like, no, it's not gonna work. It's just a dead end. Bun dun dun. <laughs> Whoops! Cliff Town. Oh boy, now you get to suffer that for the entire episode. Oh no. More cliffs that you gotta find the... Just, you know. Uh, bye. Wh okay. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> that was... obnoxious. Why did he go so high? How did he go so high? I don't know. Did we fall? No, because he clearly, like, angled up, right? Yeah. Okay. Where are we at? This is... Cliff Town. Cliff Town. So, so there's no, no skill point. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, make sure there's nothing up in there. That was just so great to archaeologist, dude. He like, was a matador of some sort. Matador? Yeah, he had, like, the cape and, like, I'm pretty sure he had, like, I a... assume that was his, like, doctor's coat because he's out here studying stuff. What? Like a doctor. Uh, if, we, if we see another one, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, there's another one right over here. Yeah, he's like a matador, and he's he's got like the the what do you what do you call it? There's like a it's like a sword, but it's thin. A rapier? Yeah, a rapier. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. You. Yeah, she was just cooking, and I just killed her. Yeah. Yeah. There's just people just randomly standing around, and you just. Show up and murder them. <laughs> They're in my way. What do you want me to do? And they also have treasure. I gotta steal their treasure. Spyro's a capitalist. <laughs> exactly. See, like, that's just a, a dude. Look, he, he's a handsome guy. He's not even doing anything. He's just like, ah, go away. See, he's just standing there, just, ah. Look, I got all three of them. And you murdered them. They disintegrated. I mean, I guess that's not much better, but... Another dude! You just walked up and... He's not even doing anything. He's just like, I don't want you stealing my soup, and then you just murder him! I thought that was a girl, but yeah. I, it looked like he had a beard or something, or facial hair. Did it? I, well, who are we to assume their gender? I, that's fair. That's fair. Hence why I was trying to be careful with my language about describing the uh, dragons. Yeah, that's fair. Because I'm not trying to... In place anything on them, you know? Right, it does like it does seem like they are all masculine though, but who knows? Uh, speaking of the issue with the dragons, there's another egg thief. Yeah. Which, where were they keeping the eggs before they got stolen? Is my question. In the safe zone? Well, then how do these guys get into the safe zone to steal the eggs? Also, does the safe zone even exist? I'm pretty sure I only just made that up for the sake of uh, our. Thing, but yeah. so this had to happen in like like less than five minutes. Yeah. Because it looked like you know from the time of the recording to playing a spiral in the beginning, it was a very very brief period of time. So he had to fire this one laser that turned all the elder dragons into J statues, and then in less than five minutes, a bunch of these egg thief guys showed up, stole all the eggs, and ran off. And scattered all the uh, gems, and all these other random dudes in the level showed up and started, I don't know, twatting at people, I guess? <laughs> I, I, I don't yeah. know, they just kind of seem to be there, and you, you know, sometimes you just show up and murder them before they do anything. Sometimes they're, you know, they look at you kind of funny, but they don't really do anything. Like, the, the, the ones that have been the most threatening so far are the ones with the muskets, and even then, those were just norks. Yeah, and they were very slow-moving bullets as well. Yeah, like, beyond that, the most dangerous guys were the, the dogs that take two hits, because they do that slam attack thing. And they're just dogs. <laughs> yeah, like, even the wizard dude was, like, he pointed at you and then like, he swung his staff around a little bit. Oh, great. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charging with your horns? That should do the trick. I, but you, you, we just, we know, we... Yeah, it seems weird that they would only just now tell us that in the second world. 
They told us that multiple times in the first world. Did they? Every single level had something to the effect of, oh yeah, they got metal, but if you charge it with your horns, that should do the trick. Mm. Like, that exact line with a little bit of flair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, I don't know. I... What kind of an enemy is that? It's just a dude with a soup pot that he's cooking over a fire. Ow. Okay, I guess that was something for an enemy, but yeah, he's just standing there. Well, are you sure? I think that looks rather feminine. Maybe. The other one I saw looked like a I, 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 like, look, she, She's got boobs. Those are boobs. I, well, okay, but we I still guess. shouldn't assume gender, but you, you get what I mean. Feminine looking. Well, whatever. They are very yeah. large. Yes. Uh... Okay, this one. Or is that require it, cannon to there, shoot? Yeah, it needs to be exploded somehow. Is there a bomb you can roll down? Uh. Yeah, they're like, ah, stay away from my soup or whatever. And you just. Why are they cooking right next to each other? And also, why do their gems have. They were having a soup competition. Where do they soup have. Why do their soup have gems in them? Because. reasons. Enzo! He's gonna be like super fast or something, right? No, he's. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? You have gems in your beard? I. Maybe? Do I have to pluck the gems out of your beard? I guess. Well, no, they don't count towards the gem total, but. <laughs> Fire being the capitalist and all, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, it's not quite plucking your teeth out, but it might as well be. Sheesh. Yeah. I want to glide over there and find out. Alright, well maybe I will. See, some of them give you that weird advice that's not even particularly helpful, they're just being like snide at you for some reason. <laughs> right. Uh... Oh, why do all these creatures attack you so often? For like no reason. They're the vultures just hanging around waiting for... One of them to snatch up the smaller dudes, or... Like, what kind of vulture looks at a dragon that they probably have some indication of since you... They can see you. Yeah, they... Realize it's a fire-breathing dragon, just murdered all of their friends, and they're like, No, Jerry! I'll avenge you, ah! Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't one of these birds be like, Wow, Bill and Jerry were dumbasses. Like, something? You would think. Uh, let's see. Oh, dragon. Yup. Marco! Didn't we already... Yeah, Mark... Whatever. You reached the highest point in Cliff Town. mechanical wings. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. Okay. See, that's actually helpful. That That's a useful thing. Yeah, okay. So, um, now I don't have to glide back over there anymore. I can just use a whirlwind to get back up. Blue! Alright, flame, flame. Gem, gem. Okay, okay. Uh. Well, now what? Uh, I still need to. Oh! I never. Okay. Huh. Uh, there's uh, more rooftops I can go on uh, across the bridge. Uh. And then you still gotta get the key, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, no, there's no key. That one didn't have a key hole. It just needed to be blown up. Oh, uh, yeah. So you gotta go find out, like, a bomb or something. Or a cannon or something. Yeah. What other sort of explosions would there be? Like, is there a segment where you get this place down like a brick of C4 somewhere? <laughs> oh, there's a... Fireworks. Oh, I guess that would do it. Probably. Well, I gotta glide there. I mean, that, that's an explosion, right? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Powerful explosion. Can I make it there from here? I don't think so. I think it I mean, I might need no. to... No. no. I, I need to do it from up there. Probably. Oh, hey! That's convenient. Yes. Look at you now. Wee. Alright. 
All right. Convenience. Oh, convenience. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm glad that that one rocket that was around managed to blow up that one treasure chest. <laughs> it's uh, the, the pathfinding. Uh, I'm still missing some gems. Looks like about, what, 33 or something? Something, yeah. Hmm. But where? Uh... Good question. Maybe I can... Get like mm, uh, oh oh I see a gem behind here. Aha, twenty five. All right, that'll that ought to do it. Yep. Ta-ding! Now time to find the I guess. Yeah, which is just on top of there. Ah. Was there a skill point needed for this level? No. Okay. Dr. Shemp, I guess, is the next one. Alright. What's a shemp? I don't know. Is it the name for sheep in this? It might. Shemp? Maybe. That's reasons. Yeah. Although, uh, what was his name? Torchy or whatever. Toasty. Toasty. It was, that was a sheep. No, that was a chicken. Oh, it was a chicken. Yeah, you're right. On stilts. Yeah. And it didn't even breathe fire or attack you with its big old, like, scythe thingy it had. It, it was a... It was a big old scarecrow with a pumpkin head and everything. And you didn't light him on fire, you didn't even really do anything. You just kind of walked up and went, brah, at him, and he's like, ah! And he fell down, and then you walked up and went, brah, again, and he fell down some more. <laughs> and then you finally, you know, on his stilts thing, for whatever reason, you got him a final time, and that was it. Like, it, 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 there was no... Speaking of Dr. Shem. Oh, well. All right, let's do it. I don't remember what his skill point thing he is. Yeah, we can look at it. But not in flight. Right. Okay, so... If the last guy was named Toasty and he was a chicken, I'm still confused about the naming on that thing. Ooh, an eclipse. Or why he didn't do, like, anything. Is this guy actually going to be a sheep, or is he going to be, like, I don't know, an evil bun bunny rabbit? Question mark? It says perfect. Perfect. So, does that mean I just can't get hit? Probably. Okay. That was easy. Well, now I'm kind of nervous if I can't get hit. You know, I have to be very careful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Exit level? Exit level. Wow. So, you keep all the gems though, right? Since... Right? I, th or... I think. Yeah. Hooray! Cool. Right back in. So, I do want to point out, on these, I guess, new generation consoles, apparently the load times are like super duper low. Yeah, like like less than a couple of seconds, kind of like 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 it closes the screen and immediately opens up to the next one, which cool. But are you kidding me? You did you get hit? You did. Well, no, I'm pretty sure that was from the last time I got hit, but I don't know if I got his gem because he fell off a cliff instead of me killing him. Well, restart. Opens up to the next one. I, I find it very funny that somehow for whatever reason every animal you kill. That's completely not harmful to you. Yep. Always drops a butterfly that then gets eaten by the guy that represents your health. Yep, and that somehow increases my health. Because my health is attached to his health, I guess. Y yeah. Because every time you take damage, he's the one that turns a different color and actually appears different. Yep. Whereas you can still use all your abilities and you don't like, lose anything. Like Weird concept. Come on, Dude. you fucker! He gave you the shadow thing anyway. Did he? It looked like it. I don't think that was an actual gem. Does this still count as perfect if I die? Probably not. Why aren't there more games like that? Where it just gives you like ultimate power, you can run around do kind of whatever you want, you know? You mean like, like Overlord or whatever you can't make it called? Well, even Overlord had like progression and stat increases and stuff, but yeah. I don't know, I just feel like there could be more really good, like, 
funny evil narrative games out there. Yeah. In the style of, say, Overlord or whatever, and, you know, you have a stupid amount of power right from the beginning. What the fuck? Unlucky. You, you, you might wanna... Oh, you gotta wait till they're charging to be able to... Oh, so when they die, I just... Wait, did their... that not take... I didn't take damage. Oh, lucky. Yeah. So when they die, I just get their gem anyway, so it didn't matter. I didn't have to restart. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. Now that you know. <laughs> Knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. And Melody actually put that on one of my videos, by the way. <laughs> that was hilarious. I don't know a whole lot about the G.I. Joe cartoons, but, uh... I don't either. I never watched them. Why haven't we had a good, like, He-Man cartoon? Like, yeah, we got She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, which, good in its own right, don't get me wrong, but it's not He-Man and She-Ra, you they know? Are, they are making a He-Man remake as well. They did the She-Ra one first, but they are in the works of, the, of a new He-Man. I think made by the same people, but I could be wrong, I don't know. The ones who did She-Ra? Yeah. Or the ones who did the original cartoon? The ones who did She-Ra. Wow. Oops. That could be cool. Yeah. Is it still gonna have them be his brother and sister? Uh, probably? Well, actually, I don't know. No, uh, because the new She-Ra is a new person entirely, actually. That's what I thought. She yeah. doesn't, it, unlike Adam and, uh, I can't remember her regular, Adora. You know, yeah, because in the new she Ra the sword and the like, for the honor of Grayskull, by the power of Grayskull, blah blah blah. Right, right, right. But like, they, they, it's a new she Ra but with a new, a new, like, apparently in the new canon, there's like, uh, multiple she Ra's. Yes, maybe. And like, it's like a, I'm, it's I'm like not passed, super caught up on the show. It's like passed down. Yeah, which I mean, I guess you could make an argument that the He Man power was also kind of passed down. Yeah, so maybe, maybe the new He Man will be a new He Man. <laughs> well, I mean, probably since there's a new she so... Yeah. Doctor Shem is so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I tell you one thing: he should watch his back. Are you gonna stab him? Why don't you fight him? If you if you if you dislike him so much, why don't you fight him? Like you've literally got a weapon in hand, and you're an adult dragon. Right. Like. I don't. Also, how long have you possibly been there listening to him talk? Twenty minutes? Like, I get you're supposed to be annoying or whatever, but what the? I guess that's Doctor Shem. I. So is is he a Nork? What, what is what? Okay. Wow. So we've got the exposed behind, uh, uh, similar to the big ones that I can't charge, and. Yeah. I'm assuming you can't charge him because he's got metal armor on or something? Well, I can't flame him because of the metal, and I can't charge him because he's big, but I can uh, flame his behind. Uh, Wait, he threw it away and then brought it back. Uh, I'm not sure what, what, what to do here. Just wait for him, I guess? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So he's gonna spin? Okay. Wow, that was simple. I'm trying real hard not to take any damage. I know. Okay, now what are you gonna do? Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Skill point acquired. Alright. Time to finish collecting the gems. Yep. Which are probably all right over here. Twenty-five. Yeah, this one just gonna have a purple gem in it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nice. Did I call it or did I call it? You nice. called it. Unfortunately, now you gotta go all the way back around the level to get to the exit. But yeah. Uh. I also find it kind of funny that's the same fairy each time that pops up in the little checkpoint things. Yeah? I guess she's just the checkpoint fairy. <laughs> which is all fine and dandy, but she doesn't even have anything interesting to say. Which is another weird tidbit. Like, all the dragons have, like, some blip or whatever about, oh yeah, here's a tip! Mm -hmm. Basic tutorial tip. And she's just like, you want to hear about the dragon set again? I can replay it if you want. 
Or actually, not even replayed because that one guy said something different when the door opened. So I guess just she just temporarily brings the dragon back to talk to you. Yeah. She's the one teleporting them all. That's why it's all the same magic because it's the fairy doing it. Ah. So they don't even teleport themselves. Yeah, it's the fairy doing it. Wow. The fairy is the one that has the safe zone, I guess. Because fairy magic beats dragons, apparently. Right. I guess. I mean, that's how it works in Pokemon, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah, that's true. Alright, next episode, we'll go in this level. But, wait, did we already beat this world, or did we do it out of order? A little bit. No, there's still some more levels to do. Uh, it's not gonna show it in the guidebook, because we haven't been there yet, but, uh... Oh. Okay, well, I guess next level. Yep, see you guys next time. Bye!